Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video was a first time experience for me. I decided to tie dye my own sweatshirt and tank top. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. And you guys, I'm so sorry if like this intro looks funky or is off or anything. I am getting my new camera tomorrow, so I'm still filming on my old camera and I can't see anything. So fingers crossed, I'm in frame and that I'm not blurry. We'll see. But anyways, like I said, this is gonna be a DIY how to tie-dye video. I got two pieces that I tie-dyed, a tank top and a sweatshirt, which was definitely very exciting, a little bit challenging, didn't always go smoothly, but hey, you know what? Like I said before, it was my first time. But if anything, it was at least entertaining, so I'm glad that I filmed it. And honestly, I think they turned out pretty well. But before we jump into it, just wanna remind you to subscribe. If you haven't already, just hit that button down below. Also turn your notifications on so you get notified of any time I have a new video. Don't forget to also give this video a like. It really helps my channel out a lot. Also leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you like this video. This is my first like DIY video. So if you guys wanna see a little bit more DIY stuff from me, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and let's just get to tie-dye. Hello there and welcome to my bathroom at 1am on a Saturday night, which as everyone knows is the perfect time to start tie-dyeing stuff. I have been procrastinating this all day, not that I didn't want to do it, I just knew what a task it was going to be, so of course I procrastinated, no surprise. But for the supplies for this project, the first thing is obviously a tie-dye kit. I have this one, this is from the brand Tulip, and this is their Vibrant One Step Tie-Dye Kit. It says just add water, and this apparently can tie-dye up to 18 projects, so that's pretty cool. We're only gonna be doing two tonight, but this does come with rubber bands. It comes with the dye, obviously. It comes with four pairs of protective gloves, so perfect, excited. I have two trash bags. I know a lot of people put their garment in like a Ziploc bag afterwards, but I don't have a big enough Ziploc bag for the sweatshirt and I don't think that the tank will fit either. So we're gonna use these. I have some extra rubber bands just in case. And then obviously I have the two garments that we are gonna be tie-dyeing. The first one is this tank top, which I haven't even unpacked and tried on, but you know what, we're just gonna like, Cross our fingers. Just like a simple white tank top. This is from A New Day. I liked the little square neckline and stuff, but super cute, excited. Then next up is the sweatshirt. Again, I haven't even unpacked it or anything. This is my first time seeing it, so fingers crossed that I like it. But I believe I got a men's sweatshirt for this because I wanted it oversized. You guys know my style, oversized everything. I mean, I'm gonna oversized t-shirt right now. Perfect, so here it is. It's a hoodie, just your classic hoodie. So, these are our two garments that we're gonna be tie-dyeing today. And the reason why we're in my bathroom is because you're supposed to soak both garments beforehand, before you start tie-dyeing. And I know a lot of people have like done it in buckets and stuff, but I was watching Leanne's channel here on YouTube. And when she did her like acid wash tie-dye, she did it in her bathtub and I was like, genius because you have running water and it's like a surface that you can easily clean the dye off of so that's what we're going to be working with today so you guys are going to get real up and close with our bathtub which like by the way i haven't cleaned before this so i'm so sorry but you know what we're going to make do with what we have okay so first off we'll start with the dye for the sweatshirt i knew for sure i wanted to do fuchsia so i think that's this one so per the instructions oh my gosh Add water to dye bottle filling to line. I'm supposed to go like all the way up to here apparently, but I do want this to be a pretty deep fuchsia. So I think I'm only gonna go to that far, then put it on like a paper towel, which is a trick I learned from Nicole Guerrero. You just put it on a paper towel and let it dry for a second. Then you can get a better read of what the color is gonna end up looking like. So let's start with that. And I'm realizing I should have had gloves on for this because I'm already getting dye all over my hands. Oh, this is already a mess. Oh my god, there's dye everywhere. Shit. This is a messy project. Oh, but this is perfect. Okay, so in cleaning up the dye, I have now confirmed that that's the color that I want, so I'm glad I didn't fill it up all the way. It's just not closed all the way. Oh my god. This is already going so wrong on so many levels. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my pants off because they are a light color. I have shorts on underneath. I feel like this is just asking for disaster. This is far too light to be wearing when I'm dying stuff. Okay, so I mixed that one up for the sweatshirt. Now for the tank top. And by the way, I really only just wanna do single color. That's just what I'm feeling like. I think I wanna do this mint. I find it interesting that it's like supposedly a deeper mint according to what's behind it. So yeah, for that one, I'm actually gonna make it really, really dark. Why is this not labeled with a name so that I could tell for sure? And you guys, I'm so sorry about the squeaky floors in here. Freaking kills me. Every single time I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Oh my God, I didn't wear gloves again. Again. What is wrong with me? Oh my God, I need to put on gloves right now. Dumb, like dumb. There we go. Look at that, already, already. Hmm, it's kind of light. I think I want to go with the teal, actually. Okay, this teal looks like closer to what I wanted to do. All right, well, I'm cleaning things up and that looks better, so that's the color that we're gonna do on the tank top. The tank top is gonna be the easier of the two, so let's start off with this one. Am I already getting dye on it? Probably. Okay, you guys, so I just realized I wasn't recording, but I just basically just soaked this in the bathtub. Oh my God. I've already got dye on it. Crap. Well, luckily, crap, I got some pink on it. Hopefully that one will um, get caught up in the teal color. But I think for this, I just want to do like this technique, like the crinkle technique. So I think you just, right? Right? I mean, that seems like that's the correct way to do this. And then taking the rubber bands, just Right, this is correct. I don't know. All right, so sorry that the lighting is terrible in the bathtub, but I'm just gonna saturate it in color. I think that's that. I used up the whole bottle, so that is that. Okay. I'm just gonna take the trash bag. I'm turn it inside out. Okay. And for this one, I'm just gonna roll it up. So this now needs to sit basically overnight, just, you know, for a few hours. Got the sweatshirt done. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am. Oh my God. It was like so freaking difficult to wring out this sweatshirt. At one point, I literally put it in between my thighs and squeezed. It was freaking difficult. But, um, whew, okay, that was a workout. I want to do a spiral on this one, so I'm just gonna twist. Kind of let it pull in. Oh, it took all of the rubber bands with it. How do you, this is where I have questions on the spiral technique. Like, do I just push the sleeves and stuff in? Is that how this works? I think that that's correct. I am sweating, guys. Okay, I'm gonna start with one of these because they're bigger. I took these literally from my office because I knew I was gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna use the big ones on this one. Glad that I took these then. So. You guys, it's like 2.30 in the morning. Trevor's been like texting me. He's like, what are you doing? You go to bed and you sleep? I'm like, no, I'm fucking tie-dyeing things. <laughs> okay. God, I hope that there's enough dye for this. But... We'll find out. Okay, so I added more water to this just because I got really scared about running out of dye. But I figured it'll still turn out dark since I'm probably actually gonna let these sit for about 10 hours knowing how much I'm gonna probably sleep in. <laughs> so I guess we'll just start going. But I hope that this has enough for it. 
No. Am I really gonna put it right now? No. <sighs> Damn. Crap, crap, crap. Might have to go on with the other pink, which is a different pink color than this. Okay, guys, I'm a genius. I was able to mix colors. It's not exact, but it's close. So there's going to be some parts that are slightly different, but that's fine. All right, I think it finally gave out. So there's that one. Oh, that's heavy. And wrapping this one up. Cool, and we're all set. Okay, then like I said, we are going to let these just sit and marinate overnight and in the morning we'll go ahead and rinse them off finish them up and see how they came out i don't have a lot of faith in this sweatshirt right now which is a little bit heartbreaking because like that was the one that i was more excited about but you no know, fingers crossed and let's just hope it's the next morning and we're in my kitchen i'm gonna go ahead and do the big unveil i'm gonna try to wash these out in my sink trevor's sleeping upstairs so i don't want to be in the bathroom like making noise so we're gonna try this down here the, the tank top will be fine the sweatshirt may be too big for here but we'll see how this goes but ugh, okay i don't want to get anything on my clothes right now so here's the tank top do you wash this out with it still like secured or do you unravel i'm assuming you unravel right Oh my god, dye is getting everywhere. I feel like maybe this part should have still been done with gloves, but you know what? It's fine. This is a learning curve. I feel like this one came out really dark. Oh my god. Hi. Oh. Hi. Tie dye? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this one did come out really dark, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. It's like a subtle tie dye because it's so dark, but let me rinse this other one out. Oops. Like, I'm glad you're up because I need your help to hit the thing to wash these. Totally. Hit the thing. You know what I mean? No, I don't. You do? No. Hit the washer. Oh. To wash these. When are we doing that? I need to rinse these out until the water runs clear, so. And I need to do. Oh, shit. I look like a spurf. Oh wow, it's washing out a whole lot of dye. I didn't realize that that was gonna happen. Trevor's back there with Spartacus. You can see him. Oh my god, the sweatshirt's gonna take forever to wash out. Forever. Look how long this tank top is taking. The sweatshirt's like four times its size. Okay, I'm gonna call it close enough. There's like the very slightest teal tinge in here, but okay. So once you rinse it out, so this was the teal one and it looks like it's two different colors because I think they use two different colors to mix the teal together. So when it like washes out and stuff, you can see the separation in color, but that's still fine. But this is cute. I'm excited for this one. Guys, wear gloves. Oh man. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the sweatshirt, which, oh my God, it's gonna take forever. Freaking monster. There she is. All right. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Came out so good. Oh my God. It's so heavy because it's still wet, but it's perfect. I love it. Yes. Okay. So let's try to wash this out. <laughs> Okay, then you're supposed to wash each one individually on both sides. My handy dandy helper. To... Okay, ready for the big reveal? So let's start out with the tank top. And then I'm so sorry, I didn't show you guys like me taking these out of the washer and putting them in the dryer. I felt like that was self-explanatory. So after you wash it, dry it here is the tank top super cute came out lighter than i thought that it would and i didn't 
realized that these colors were gonna separate because this was just supposed to be a teal so it looks like it ended up separating I don't know what to do to keep it from doing that but I still like it it's very very dense I really oversaturated this one which if I had to do it again I would probably pull back a little bit and I wouldn't do like as much dye as I did but I really like this one it's super cute I'm obsessed with it this one's gonna be like so perfect for summertime and then the one I'm most excited about the sweatshirt. Here it is. It's so cute. It came out so great. The spiral came out super good. And actually, I don't mind that I didn't have as much dye as I thought I had needed because I actually like the amount of dye that came off on this. I thought that it was gonna like barely have anything, but I think it was definitely enough. And I'm just obsessed. I've already put it on. It's super, super cozy. And I just like, I love this so much. All right, you guys, so that is how I tie-dyed a sweatshirt and a tank top. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that it was informative. Like I said, I think they came out pretty dang good. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, especially for my first time. And honestly, a hoodie was really hard. Like I said earlier, I think the tank top was just a little too overly saturated, but still, I do like how it came out. I like the effect. So I think I'm gonna give myself like a B plus on this tank top. The sweatshirt, I'm giving myself like an A plus plus. That came out perfectly. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below so I can chat with you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.